our Lifetime of Excellence in Public Policy Award goes to the Honorable Joyce Beatty. Congresswoman Joyce Beatty is a native Ohioan with a strong history of connecting people, policy, and politics to make a difference. Since 2013, Congresswoman Beatty has represented Ohio's third congressional district proudly. She serves on the exclusive House Committee on Financial Services and is a member of two subcommittees, Housing and Insurance and Oversight and Investigations. A sought-after public speaker and the recipient of numerous awards, she has been named one of the most powerful African Americans in the United States by Ebony Magazine. She is also active in the Lynx Incorporated, Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated, and the National Coalition of 100 Black Women, the Columbus Urban League, and the American Heart Association, where she previously served on the board, and numerous other organizations. As the 27th chair of the Congressional Black Caucus, she is leading the CBC's historic 58 members during the 117th Congress. Since its creation in 1971, the Congressional Black Caucus has been committed to using the full constitutional power, statutory authority, and financial resources of the federal government to ensure that African Americans and other marginalized communities in the United States have the opportunity to achieve the American dream. Congratulations, and thank you for your contribution. I'm Congresswoman Joyce Beatty, Chair of the Congressional Black Caucus. It is an honor to be awarded the Martin Luther King Day Lifetime of Excellence in Public Policy Award on this National Action Network King Day. I am pleased to join the distinguished group of 2022 honorees. To my friend, the Reverend Al Sharpton, Chairman Richardson, the Board of Directors, Senior Vice President Ebony Riley, and the entire National Action Network team. Congratulations on 30 years of promoting one standard of justice, decency, and equal opportunities for all people. I have dedicated my life to connecting people, public policy, and politics, fighting for justice and civil rights for all. Dr. King lent his words, wisdom, and work to empower and inspire countless Americans and the entire nation to seize the opportunities for justice that lay before us now. Because we cannot redeem the soul of America without the courage to fight the barriers of cultural, systemic, and environmental racism. That is why I marched for justice with civil rights leaders like the late Congressman John Lewis, Martin Luther King III, Al Sharpton, Jesse Jackson, Melanie Campbell, and so many more. That is why I marched with the spirit of Fannie Lou Hamer across the Edmund Pettus Bridge for the 50th anniversary of Bloody Sunday. That is why I was arrested in the United States Senate for demanding protections for our right to vote. And that is why I am standing with you in Congress, fighting for our most sacred right as Americans, our right to vote. When Dr. King delivered his famous How Long? not long speech. He spoke to a pained and frustrated nation, saying, how long will prejudice blind the vision of men? Not long. His words could not be more relevant today as we continue to push and govern our nation in a way that lives up to the ideals of Dr. King and what he preached and practiced. This is Martin Luther King's day, and we will not accept empty promises pursuing King's dream. Because Black communities across the nation stand to lose the most 
if voting rights legislation is not passed. We are seeing more aggressive attempts to gerrymander congressional districts. I voted for the Freedom to Vote John Lewis Act. It was the Congressional Black Caucus that called for the vote demanding the Senate to take immediate action on voting rights legislation. To the memory of Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and the living legacy of his son, Martin Luther King III, and Reverend Al Sharpton, thank you. Thank you for standing with the Congressional Black Caucus as we stand with the American people. President Biden and Vice President Harris, we will not yield in our efforts to enshrine voting rights legislation into law. Four Republican presidents reauthorized the Voting Rights Act. So I ask you, what has changed? Could it be? When Democrats vote, we win. And the only way to stop us is to silence our voice through suppressing our vote. As chairwoman of the Congressional Black Caucus, the conscience of the Congress, I can promise you we will use every avenue available to defend the most fundamental pillar of American democracy. That is our power, our message. To the Reverend Al, the National Action Network, and to all of you, thank you for this award. And I'm Congresswoman Joyce Beatty, and I approve this message.